as you can see the the weight is on the bottom but the three quarter inch cork brings the crab right up to the surface perfect Good morning guys, this is what I'm gonna to do today. I'm using a live crab. I put a thin rubber band through the eye of the hook, wrapped it around a couple of times and just looped it back to the hook. I didn't puncture the crab at all. Using a three-way uh, swivel with a three-aught and a two-aught and a four-ounce bank. So what I'm gonna do is that the uh, two foam balls here will bring the crab off the bottom and it'll float it up towards the surface. So it's gonna look very tantalizing for any trevallis or any other predators that are in the area. So let's give this a try. All right, everybody, this is my mid-water float rig. Okay, you got two, two lines, uh, this pole over here We'll have the line coming down. I'm gonna have my three-way swivel here. And from the three-way swivel, you can see it comes out to your lead weight. This part here is gonna have your shorter uh, leader, which is your baited hook. But unfortunately, the baited hook will stay on the bottom. So if you're using live bait like crabs, it's gonna um, drag this around and get try to hide with the seaweed or um, coral, rocks, anything you can find. And sometimes if it's a dead bait, like you have a dead piece of squid or shrimp, it will float around. It also will get maybe get dislodged or hide in the seaweed or coral by mistake. And the fish that swims by won't see it. What I, what I propose to do in certain areas um, is, especially areas that are in, um, crowded at the bottom, is on this rig here, you can see my uh, three-way swivel here is gonna go down to a wired bank, which means that the lead weight has wires in it that are secure itself. So instead of the um, leader right here drooping down, floating down to the bottom, I'm gonna have a couple of uh, floats attached to it, to the middle of it, usually foam balls, and the hook will be up so I can put like see a, a live bait like a fish or crab on this or even a dead bait so when the fish swims by it's going to see it it's going to be right on the open you have a better chance of a hookup so this is what my midwater float rig will look like now this is another way of making my midwater float rig you have your line from shore going out now say the wind i choose areas where the winds would be at my back so the winds going out away from you and you can use a couple of large net floats or what I prefer are balloons. Just um, blow up a balloon. Now, the bigger you blow the balloon means it'll catch the wind easier. So it'll go out faster and you get more response out of a bigger balloon. Um, what you do is you tie your um, three-way swivel to the balloon. You can do that with dental flaws, um, fishing line, whatever you have available. And there'll be no weighted line this time. It's, instead of weighted line, you just have your leader coming down from it, okay, with your hook. So when, when the wind blows your, your float out, you're going to have your baited line here. And it depends on the depth. Like, say, if it's like maybe four to five feet here, have maybe um, one and a half to two feet for your line. If it's deeper water, then you, you kind of have to want to vary that. Make sure that when you throw it out, that if, like, say, if it's, like, two to three feet here, you don't want it shallower than that, I mean, longer than that because it will catch on the bottom, won't blow out. And when you toss your line out, make sure that you kind of don't put it down here and let the wind take it. you got to chuck it out there to try to get it out as far as you can so the wind can catch it. So I've done this already, and you can actually empty out your reel if you're not careful. So make sure you keep about three quarters to two thirds of your line in the reel in case you get a good hit. So you just spoon it out or sometimes if the wind pushes against the balloon hard enough, it'll take the line out of the reel. So this will take your line out and you have better chance getting your 
your baits away from the shoreline, which is dirtier, a little bit more shallow, and you have a bit better chance of getting something bigger or possibly just more hits during the day. So you can do it this way or you can do it the other way. Thank you.